All right, so the first thing that you need to make sure that you have done is your very first project because I'm grading that today. Okay, so your digital illusion, if you haven't turned that in, which a lot of you haven't, that's a problem. If I did not have my appointment today, I would be grading them right now and a lot of you would be getting zero. So make sure that that's turned in because I'm grading that today. Then make sure that your practice is done because that's due at the end of the day today. And a lot of you haven't turned that in either. So if you need to finish today getting this done, that's fine. Spend today getting this done. Um, a couple of things I wanted to point out though, when I was looking at them, a few people didn't go back and delete their picture, meaning you didn't, um, so after you made all of your shapes with, in your Google Draw, you didn't go back and delete the picture of the tomato behind it, or some of you didn't put a background behind it. So make sure that you did both of those things so that you can get all the points for it, all right? Then today, you're going to start your final if you're ready. If you're ready to move on, you're going to start your final project. So that is titled Project Number Three, Digital Mosaic in Google Draw. And here's your template. It's just a blank Google Draw template that looks just like this, okay? And you're going to start building it on here. So the first thing that you need to do is select your image. And it can be anything you want. It just needs to be a good image with a lot of detail. Like a basketball is not a good image. Or somebody in the last class wanted to do a cartoon character, but it was really boring because the cartoon character was flat and the colors, there weren't a lot of colors. So make sure that you copy and paste your image into your uh, project and then you can start working. I will also go back today when I get back and look at everyone's picture and make sure that you chose one that is good for your project. If you didn't choose one that I think is good enough for your project, I'll leave you a comment, okay, and let you know. Um, I think I had two people in my last class that needed to change. Other than that, everyone else was pretty good, okay? What would be really helpful when you're working on this is if you zoom in so that you can get a lot of detail. I'm actually gonna go to 200%, okay? Then you can start really building your shapes and getting in and getting all those little details that you need to get. Let's look at a couple of examples that I posted in your classroom. So I posted three examples for you so that you know kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, do you see, now this is a lot, but do you see the amount of detail that they put in here? It's gonna be a lot more detailed than the tomato practice that we did. You're gonna have a lot more shapes. Okay, now these are really crazy, but I just wanted to give you some really good examples. Here's a really good one of what I am at least expecting of you, I think. These are still, I mean, they're fairly big shapes, but you can see all of the detail. You can tell all the differences in color, all right? You only need to work for your class period today. You do not need to keep working after that. I'm gonna give you plenty of time to work, okay? So don't work ahead and get like the whole thing done today. There's no need, we'll keep working. If you're working on your tomato for most of class today and that's all you get done, that's fine. I would just try to at least get your image picked and your image pasted in here so that you're ready to roll tomorrow. Okay. Um, other than that, what questions do you have for me? 